Do you need a special party favor container for your special event? Contact us in messages below. Thank you. Have a great day. Hello, my name is Renee and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. And I'm Hannah from Handicrafted Gifts, also an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. And today we're going to show you a party favor that you could use for any party or event or occasion you're having. Um, this all started around Christmas time. I had an event that Renee came to and we made these little cup of cheer cups. You can see it says uh, sending you a cup of cheer on one side and then mm -hmm. it's this beautiful Christmas poinsettia. This is from the Cup of Christmas stamp set um, and there's a little tag that says enjoy tied on there with the baker's twine and this was a hot cocoa gift. So it comes with a hot cocoa spoon. There were two little candy canes but those got enjoyed over the holiday. <laughs> um, so that's where this idea began and then Renee recently made an updated version for Valentine's Day. That's right. So I had a Valentine's class and I decided to make this one right here. And I used some DSP in the inside and some hearts and uh, little heart cookies actually is what they are. And then before we got started tonight, we went ahead and made this one um, for a birthday because we had this idea to do a business where we can create favors for your occasions. So if you're having a birthday, you can see here it says happy birthday and there are these floating balloons. Um, we've got the cups on either side and the balloons tied up there. And inside you can see it looks like fireworks. So that's a great birthday party favor. You could put your little treats or toys in there, party hats, whatever you like. Um, so tonight we're gonna show you how to make two versions, one for a wedding, whether that's the rehearsal dinner, the actual wedding itself, or the wedding shower, um, and then one for a baby shower. So we'll get started here. So Renee is gonna walk us through and I'm gonna talk us through <laughs> how to make this. So first you have this five by five sheet of paper and we've gone ahead and scored that at one and three quarters and three and a quarter. So I had found a tutorial, um, which we'll link to below so that did inspire this. Um, it had slightly different dimensions so that it was a more symmetrical box. Um, however, it didn't match up to the cups as much. And so this one allows it to be as if instead of a box inside two cups, it really is um, like it's just a mug. So once you've folded on all those score lines, then you can go ahead and cut from one end down the score lines to that perpendicular score line. So he's going to show us that. All right. And all you want to make sure is that you're cutting on opposite ends of the sheet. Okay. Right. Well, <laughs> I was going to point out, but we'll just show them. <laughs> yeah. So here's one and you're just cutting up to that first score line on that side. So there you go. There you go. Beautiful. Our lighting's a little bright tonight. We're not sure why because <laughs> We've seen that it's been better. Here's in the other one. We do that right there. And then that right there. Beautiful. So you okay. can see those opposite sides are cut in. So now she's gonna be folding those outside corners in towards the middle. But if she does that now, you'll see that it's a little long. And again, that's because the dimensions of this box are real particular so that it lines up just right with your cup. And the cup is taller than it is wide. So all you're gonna do is trim off that like quarter inch on all those corner flaps. And you're not trimming the outside, you're actually trimming like the top. So Renee will show you here in just a second. If she could do a close up. Okay. Can you open it all up so yeah. you can see how that so, one is shorter. Yeah, so that's all we're doing. And so then I'm gonna take this one and do exactly that same thing. And then she'll do that on the other side as well. And that way when you fold in those sides, they're not overlapping because they obviously need to be flush to create your little box. So you just trim those four off. And then can you show them that finished product when you're done there? Yeah, so again, you just trim those off and you don't have to worry too much. And then these are gonna fold on the inside of the box. So you're gonna fold those on the inside of the box so this outside flap is your center. And this actually is where your cups that you saw, that you saw here, your cups are going to be placed. Okay? That way we'll cover those seams. Yeah, yeah. sorry. That just keeps there it real clean. Okay, so, so I'm gonna glue those each on their outside. 
she said, on the outside, right? That's right. So you, so you want to talk a little bit about the idea of the business a little bit more and how they might be able to contact us if they were interested at this point? or Sure. So basically these are completely customizable. So if you see something you like tonight or it inspires something else, you can contact us and we can use any colors, any sentiments, um, any designer series paper, whatever is currently available either from Stampin' Up! Um, and create a personalized favor for your party. So, so these are just ideas to inspire you. And so you would just contact us and we work with you to create what's best for you. For me, if you message me at the bottom of this video, um, I will um, check and respond to you if you are interested in doing these party favors. Sorry, did I do that right? Yeah, I was doing that right, I think. Well, other sides, you can fold the middle up on the outside. What am I doing? Okay. So outside. outside. Yep. Yes, sorry. That's okay. That's a good example. <laughs> so um, it could work either way, but the cleanest look is going to be to put the glue on the outside of those corner flaps so you can fold up the center. Yeah. But yeah, you can contact Renee um, or you can contact me. We work together. So yes. <laughs> if yeah. one of us gets the message, we will relay it to the right. other. And, and you can uh, work together. Yes, this video will be on my site and Hannah's site. So what that means is if you see it on Hannah's site, please contact her through messaging through the, um, through the YouTube site, and we will check that, okay? So now you have your perfect box, okay? And so what's going to happen is in this set, we do quite a bit of die cutting. Mm -hmm. And so we wanna show you how you use the die cuts um, that are found in this package and that we will be using throughout the video. Yeah, so Renee's gonna cut the cups and you can see there's two different ones so that your handles handles face both directions. Ooh, we've got all sorts of background noises happening here. <laughs> so she's gonna roll that through. And um, the other thing we can do is we can prep all of these materials and then come to you if you're Yep. say bridal party wants to get together and make these for the wedding and have that be part of your experience together. Um, so that's just another option. So whatever sounds good to you, contact us and we'll talk about what's currently available and make something work. So here you go and here they are. And so now you have your two cups that you can embellish and you will be seeing how we embellish um, our two next cups. Um, and they will go, one will go here, sorry, sorry, one will go here on this side. Am I centered, Hannah? That looks good. Yeah, and then the other one will go on this side so that the handles are facing, and that's what's so nice about these dies, okay? And that's how our cup will uh, start getting decorated and look like this beautiful little birthday cup. Okay, that is a party favor. All right. Okay, so um, what we've got here with hers again is that uh, she is placing these pieces on there. Onto the cup. Onto the cup that was die cut out, and she die cut it out with this piece. And then instead of die cutting onto my cups, okay, I went ahead and stamped them. And I used, obviously, the stamps that have the, um, um, the lines. And of course, with the Stamparatus, it's really easy. And we just went ahead and used our Stamparatus and built these using that. All right, so. And these were Stampin' Up's first ever reversible stamps so that you could stamp the cup with the, um, with the handle facing one way and then flip it over, use the other side, and stamp it with the handle facing the other way. Because it wouldn't make sense to have a cup that had handles facing the opposite direction. I was yes, that would not be good. Both face the same. That'd be a wacky cup. All right, so I've got my die cuts glued on there. So now I'm gonna glue my cups onto my box. So obviously I'm leaving my sentiment side um, to show. And now I'm gonna put the cups on the side where you can see it's the seam. Um, of where I folded the box together, so it's gonna hide those, which is nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on the backs of my cups and glue those on. And again, this is the wedding 
cup. And Renee is making the baby shower I, cup. So that's I'm why we did yellow. The, yes, I'm making the baby shower cup. And uh, it is yellow. And as we know, sometimes a lot of these are uh, a reveal. And so this would be a great cup for a reveal because we could, of course, do these in blue or pink and then something inside in pink or blue, depending on what you're going to have. Or if you so, don't know, it could be for, you know, when you don't know the right, sex right. to do yellow or purple. Right, um, exactly. Or if you want to do something untraditional, <laughs> we could do blue for a girl and pink for a boy, whatever you want. Right. Um, but the yellow is a good neutral. And it matches what's going to go inside, which is a surprise for the end, which we're super excited to show you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Super so I've got cute. one cup on there. I'm just going to do my opposite side now. Renee is just speedy. Look at her. Well, you had you had um, more to do than Still, I Still, you were explaining okay. all that stuff. Oh, we so, used. So the, the, the set is, now I saw the bundle still advertised on Stampin' Up, but um, I know that the dyes, you just saw it, on, Hannah, the dyes are still there. The dyes are definitely there. Uh, in buying those. Uh, but uh, I did see some bundles online uh, if it's not, because it is out, right? We will certainly link to whatever Stampin' Up! currently has available in our product description. Right. But it was part of the uh, 2019 holiday catalog. Right. Uh, but there have been some items to carry over from that. So yeah. Right. But again, you don't have to have your own. You can order Hire us. us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. right. So now we've got double-sided cup. So it's really coming together. It doesn't just look like a box anymore. It looks like a real mug. We're going to make that inside a little more festive. So we've each got some different DSP. Mine is a retired DSP. It's called Year of Cheer. And it's these silver metallic foil fireworks, which I think is so good for a wedding. And what do you have there, Renee? I have little bird's feet. Which is perfect because little it storks is. bring little babies. Yes. And so what we basically do, and, and we would we would glue them, uh, but you don't have to glue them. They kind of fit so nicely in here in the inside of your box. It's just really nice. And these are one and three quarters by one and a quarter. Um, and if they, you know, depending on how tightly you put your box together, if they need to be trimmed just ever so slightly, you can. Um, but it looks like mine are just about gonna fit. I might have to trim just one. Me too. Good. But that. it's good to try to slide them in first and see where you need to trim. So I need to trim this one just ever so slightly. Let's see if that one will work better on that side. Yeah, I think that one needs a little trimming also. And for Renee's, it doesn't matter so much because hers is just a repeating pattern. But for mine, um, the fireworks link together because um, I made sure to cut my paper such that I had one strip that then I cut the four little pieces out of. So they do align, or like on the birthday one, you can see the red. Maybe you can see, let me try to catch the light. Well, that's the seam, because that was the end. But then everywhere else, you can see the blue blends into the red, blends into the yellow. So if you're strategic with it, you can make it look really seamless. There you go. So and again, you can, glue, you can glue those in there um, at any point in time. Matter of fact, I might I might glue mine in. I think I'm ready for this set to be glued in. Okay. While you're doing that, I will show on this birthday one. You can maybe you can see actually if I can catch the light. But there is a window sheet. That's how our balloons are standing up because obviously there's no helium in there. Um, and so I put that window sheet between the DSP and the outside of the cup, and so that way it, it's hidden until it comes up and needs to just hold those balloons and hold their strings which are tied around the handles. So that's how we did that effect. Um, and then the sentiment, of course, because it was a little big for the side of the cup, you can choose sentiments that are that way. And Renee's gonna show you how she did hers in a moment. But I just cut it and kind of curled it to wave it, flagged the ends, and then put a dimensional on there to have that sentiment stay on there. Actually, all I had to do is glue that one in and then it set everything else in motion. And so there are our little feet. You can see those little feet in Adorable. there. Adorable. Yeah. And the fireworks. All right. So now we can put our tags on. Renee's going to put her sentiment. I'm going to go ahead okay, and put my tag. Okay, so my sentiment, here's to a new beginning. And that's the sentiment right here. And uh, I did use, they have this wonderful little uh, pattern in the um, cup of cheer here 
um, that does these uh, like leaves. And I did die cut that out. And that's really nice. And I'll also put a bow in there that also comes from that set. It's a very handy, multi-purpose set. Uh, of course, you can still see some of the paper in there, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Um, so there you go. There it is. There's the little one right there. And so um, they're really handy. That whole set is just a beautiful set. Also, when we made the tags, the tags are also die cut out, okay? So the whole thing is really handy. So, so there's my tag. It says Mr. and Mrs. in that same silver ink. Um, and I've tied that on with the Baker's Twine, which is white and silver as well to match. Um, you might have seen we used similar Baker's Twine on our birthday cup, and Renee's gonna be using it on hers as well. I'm just gonna trim my edges so that they match up in length a little bit. So I am going to glue this on here something like that. I know that's hard to see with that light today, but anyway, I'll get it to you in a good fashion in just a second. All right, so I'm just gonna glue that on. I already glued that little uh, leaf stem on there because I didn't wanna uh, take too much time, but as you see from the back of this, I just went ahead and, I don't know now, oh, there it is, thank you, light. I just went ahead and glued it together in this fashion to produce that front. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that across that face. And then I'm going to take my bow and you'll see where I place it on that lower stem but these are two different ways of doing this. Go ahead. And this cup is actually already done. So you can see it's real simple. We wanted to keep it really elegant, again, since it's for a wedding, um, shower, rehearsal, actual day. And so you could put your little wedding treats in there, whatever those may be, um, super cute. I wish I had known about this for my wedding because I had a tea-themed wedding, <laughs> or oh. at least reception, and these would have been such a cute little favor. I oh, even think the yes. tag, I mean, that's like a tea bag tag right there. Um, and I actually did give tea as my favors in little cups, but I wish they had been these little cups. Oh, <laughs> yes, that would have been perfect, <laughs> see? All right, so this is how this looks. I want to see if you can cute. Yes, Very cute. there you go. There you can see that now. So there you go with that. And then these are the sides. And then there's the back, and again, I have my tag. tag. So again, my tag says, obviously, my tag is going to say, baby. <laughs> and I'm just going to thread that through these holes. If I can do that this evening, we'll see. Hmm, take your time. And then, like I said, we've got a little surprise for what we can put in Renee's oh, yes. cup. Um, and it could be whatever you wanted for your event. Um, but even if you wanted it to be this, you could put... We were saying, because you're about to see what it is, you probably already started to guess because of the uh, footprints on the DSP there. But you could put yeah, like a little chocolate way. egg in the bottom. Um, and then you could put what we're going to put on top, on top. Let's just say, since my last name is Bird, I would love this for my baby shower if I was having one. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got my, yes. I wish I had for my wedding and I hope I will for my baby yes. when that time comes. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. And for That's all the true. birthdays in between. Put that little birthday one back there. Yeah, that birthday one is really great. Now, talk about the set that those balloons come from, because that set is darling and is in the mini catalog. Do you remember what that? Yeah, so that set is the special someone set. And it has a yeah. bunch of little forest animals and those balloons and some other birthday sentiments. So that's certainly a good one to use. That's where we got the happy birthday from as well. Um, so I'm just fussing, sorry. That's okay, take your time. Um, and this happy wedding day uh, sentiment came from the beautiful bouquet stamp set and the Mr. and Mrs. actually came from the piece of cake stamp set. So we'll have all those in the description below if you wanna check those out. Yeah. And so I'm just gonna, I just made my tie for my little uh, baby um, tag. And so uh, there you go. Cute. Isn't that sweet? Or and, uh, yeah, so, Bab. <laughs> oh, baby. It was reading backwards. <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Baby. Now. All right, let's fill that okay. baby up. So we have a little um, bird's nest. That's right. We have a little bird's so nest. Cute. I'm so excited about this. And? I knew we had that from another project. Ta-da! So cute, a little chicky. A little chick in there. So, so cute. A little chick in there. That was a last minute addition, folks. I thought, wait, we've got some of that shreddy paper and there Renee you loved go. that chick, so, so, so cute. Yes. So we've got our final projects here. Let's hold them all up. Wedding, birthday, and baby shower. Yeah. So cute. And this is, um, this. these we can make, and uh, we will, of course, discuss the particulars with you, but we would love to be able to make these for folks for their occasions, and then you can decide on what favor you would like. I do want to say that last, the sentiment may, um, here is to a new beginning, and the chick come from this delightful set which is also in the new mini catalog. Full of happiness, which yes. you hopefully would be if you were expecting a new edition. Yes. <laughs> At least after just into that news. Okay, so here we are. We'll say okay. our quick goodbyes. Yeah. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, you can see everything you need below in our description. Please do like this video if you yes. liked it. Please subscribe yes. if you're interested in seeing more. Yes. Um, the video will be available on Renee's channel as well as mine. Yes. And contact us if you're interested in some party favors. Absolutely. Happy crafting Happy and crafting. hope you contact us. Bye-bye.